I know I've already unboxed Flamecraft and yeah, I've already done that. But this is the deluxe and so I was just gonna do a real quick unboxing and show you what the difference was to where if you want to, you can see the unboxing of Flamecraft that I've already done, which is the retail version. And then you can check this one out, which is the deluxe to see if you get the retail version of the game, the, then I do believe that Lucky Duck has the deluxe upgrades. You won't ever be able to get the organizer that's in here unless you have the deluxe version of the game. But if you like the pieces that go along with it, then you can purchase those you know, on a case-by-case -case basis and upgrade your Flamecraft if you want to, or you can try to track down a deluxe copy of it. However, I just wanted you to be aware, or, you know, on the flip side of things, the conversation that you hear less and less in terms of board games is if you don't have the game at all and you're wanting to see what the fuss is about this, then you can just see if the retail is enough for you in terms of the, the resources that are there because it's a perfectly fine game without all of the deluxe add-ons and you don't have to have that. That looks like... It went missing somewhere. I will have to find that. But anyways, this is Flamecraft. This is a deluxe version of the game. As I said, there is an organizer in here. It is a game trays organizer if you are familiar with them or not familiar with them. Here is the spot for the play mat. I'm just going to pop that in right here and get that out. So the play mat, which is going to go all the way across, you're going to get, I believe, the neoprene play mat. It's, it's also in the retail version of the game. So no matter what, you're going to have a very, very pretty thing to play on. I mean, I could just do it right now and flip it and show you, but you're going to have all of these locations to place the cards on for these different shops. You're going to have the score track. You're going to have the places for the enchanted dragons and for the draw pile. And then, yeah, and then for the enchantment cards as well. So very, very pretty game that you're going to have the neoprene play mat no matter what because um, I'm like, I mean, I'm going to have to go back and watch my own unboxing, but I'm like 90 bajillion percent certain that it's got it in there. It's just in a different location, and it doesn't have this organizer set up. So the thing that you will probably recognize right away, based off of the difference that you have here, is that instead of cardboard tokens, you're going to have wooden pieces. So these are the wooden resources that you'll collect at the shops and then cash in whenever you are paying for the cost of enchantments. These are upgraded in a very similar way to the wooden components that you'll find in Dwellings of Elderville. So this is published by Cardboard Alchemy. The retail is handled by Lucky Duck, but Cardboard Alchemy is the one that went ahead and created this. And you'll recognize the level of production from Cardboard Alchemy. What, Danny? Okay, I'll get you a snack in a moment. You see them? Oh, in a picture? Okay, Danny, watch your show, please. Daddy's working. So you'll recognize the production level from Cardboard Alchemy. Uh, Peter Vaughn and Brad, they are the two people that work uh, for Cardboard Alchemy. They are a fantastic team and they are responsible for some of my favorite games like Dwellings of Eldervale. And then they've also done Mission Catastrophe, which is really, really good. And then they've also are coming out with Andromeda's Edge, which again, I'm thoroughly excited about that one. Ah, so it just appears that these heart tokens are coming from somewhere. Maybe they're just underneath or something. Maybe that's why these particular ones were flying around. Or maybe they were under here. Maybe that's where they were. They were under here. Okay. All right, so that's one, two, three, four. And then that's five, six. And that's one, two, three, four, five, six. Perfect. So in the retail version of the game, you're going to have these wooden critters, which are going to be your... Uh, they're going to be your workers around the board, moving around and going to these different spots. However, in this deluxe version of the game, these are, they're not obsolete, but you don't need them as much because you have these crazy miniatures. And so these awesome miniatures of the dragons that you see here, these are plastic ones, and they 
perform that role of going around to different locations. And so you can use these dragons for the score track rather than these little hearts down here. Or you can use the hearts and you can use these guys for your placements and you can just play with these miniatures the whole time. It's kind of the combination of the two of these together make it to where you're able to do a little bit of what you want. Um, I think probably the absolute best component upgrade out there uh, for this game are these coins. So I lived in England when I was younger and I developed an appreciation for the British sterling pound. And I think it's the most satisfying like physical coin out there. It's so like chonky and these are ridiculously chonky. And then you have a little flame craft like first player token, the flame keeper. They're just, they feel so good in hand and the coins are your wild resource. And so it'll be nice whenever you have them that you can kind of sit there and enjoy those particular cards or those particular resources. Other than that, let's see. I think the main differences, if I could, you know, spot them just on a whim, is number one, the organizer that comes in with this. You get this organizer, which goes ahead and splits everything into very manageable sections for you. And it also has removable component trays which you can keep out and about with you on the table. So number one, game trays organizer. Number two, plastic miniatures to replace the wooden miniatures. Number three, the metal coins to replace the cardboard coins. And then number four, the actual resources themselves which are now wooden with like screen printed details on them rather than the cardboard chits. And so now I can slot that there and I can slot these here. And once I have done so, I can put this little topper on. And then, oh, this is the bag for the coins. And so I'm just gonna slot that right here for now because I don't need it as of yet. So this is the deluxe version of Flamecraft. This wasn't supposed to be a long drawn out video. It's just showing you the differences here between the retail and the deluxe version of the game. So you can decide, do you even care about these upgrades? Um, are they worth it? And maybe you just want the retail version of the game. Or maybe you want to get the retail version of the game because you missed out on the campaign and you want to get the deluxe add-ons here. So this is Deluxe Flamecraft. This is designed by Manny Vega, who I saw at PAX Unplugged. Didn't get a chance to talk to him, but I saw him. Yeah, so this is from Cardboard Alchemy. They are the publisher behind this title. And then also they are working with Lucky Duck to deal with the retail distribution of the game. I will say, if you like Flamecraft, be excited about Andromeda's Edge, because I think there are going to be dragons in it. So yeah, I am excited about Flamecraft. I'm excited about anything else that's coming from Cardboard Alchemy, and also Lucky Duck, because they're my peeps. So, until next time, see you guys later.